Hey guys, this week we've got an animal flow sequence to, move, to, to learn. We're going to learn half of it today and practice that for the week. And then we'll learn the other half when I return from uh, my adventures. I want to just share three things with you about the routine itself. And then I'll do a demonstration and I'll talk it through. And then watch that through all the way. And then maybe I'll drop a third video where I'm just doing the flow itself. So the three things. The first thing is it starts with this thing called uh, a deep ache. These are all animal flow words. Deep ache. If you're having trouble getting your heels down in your deep ache, feel free to start with something under your heels to get yourself comfortable, to, to ease the range. So you can comfortably get into your deep ache. It doesn't have to be, uh, it can be a couple of books. It could be um, a broom handle end. Just something under your heels. The second thing is that within the sequence there's this thing called a loaded beast. And it's not an easy move to, to do. So what I'm wanting you to do is give you a couple of options within it because I want you to have great form and a strong structure. And as you get better at the movement, you can stretch it out. So a loaded beast is where your hands are in front of you like this and you have your toes under and you engage the knees and the core and those knees pop off the ground. Now if you find yourself not strong enough in the shoulders or in the lower back, the tendency is to sag in those areas or to feel pain in those areas. We don't want to sag and we don't want to feel pain. So the idea is, I'm calling this position rested beast with your knees on the floor and loaded beast with your knees up. Bring your hands in a little in rested beast position. Round your back out. And practice this angry cat, happy cat position. Round your back out into angry cat and then lift your knees off. You should find that this structure holds very well. And then over time, you can stretch it out. So that's that part. The last part is you need to learn the routine and that will take time. It'll feel clunky at the beginning, but then it'll, it'll even out. You'll know the routine. And once you know the routine, I want you to breathe in and out. I want you to, to breathe, to feel and to flow. That's the thinking behind the activities. Your in breath and out breath is the regulation of the change of a movement. And there's no magic in at this time and out at that time. It really doesn't matter. Just breathe in and out evenly as you're moving through the motions. That's our animal flow sequence. I'll go through it now. I'll stop this video and go through it now. And then you can watch it through. And then I'll try another one where I just call it out and flow through. You can repeat this sequence three times in a row or once or somewhere, somewhere at a different time of day. But if you're doing it three times in a row, make sure you take a good three to five minute break before you do it again or do some other activity. Okay, lastly, my, uh, my rewilding t-shirt arrived, so I'm very excited. Um, this was drawn for me by a good friend who's a real-life Viking, lives in Copenhagen. And so that's our rewild shirt. If you want one, I'll drop a link. You can go and get yourself one and you can make your own. But otherwise, enjoy this animal flow sequence and I'll catch you in the gym.